Hello folks, welcome back to Rod's VW Garage. Um, today, uh, like I told you on my last video, we're gonna we're gonna rebuild this uh, 44 Weber carburetor. So, um, so a little story for the ones that uh, haven't following me. Uh, this carburetor, I purchased a, a set of uh, Webers, and uh, it was stripped. It's probably this is what it had it had all the internals but did not have the shaft did not have the the uh choke the did not have the the uh accelerator pump uh didn't have anything really but it had all the internals everything was there so what i decided to do and my wife was like oh well don't tell anybody well it is what it is, man. I, you know, there's you can do research and and you can find out about this stuff. So I went in on uh, eBay. I think it was eBay, either eBay or or uh, Amazon, one of the two. And one purchased me a knockoff right here, knockoff um, forty four carburetor. Uh, so. It was, I think it ran, the 44 runs around $100. But, with that being said, $100, it ran me. But if you look, it has everything. And this one is stripped down to the bare bones. So, um, I was doing some research, and it says that, you know, they're, they're the same carburetors. Uh, there's not, not really a difference. There is a difference here, one slight difference right here. Uh, sorry, right there. So this one has an extra needle right here. You see it? And then all the newer carburetors have it, this extra one right here. And uh, I think this uh, could be a mixture, but I, I thought the mixture was this one right here, air air mixture right here i guess it's gas mixture for for the uh for the uh probably for the um uh, hmm. i don't know uh I, i'm just i'm just thinking that that would do the idle but it is what it is anyways uh long story short i purchased this carburetor and i got this carburetor so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna I'm going to take all everything, all the internals of this carburetor, and I'm going to switch it up to this carburetor right here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do, we're going to, we're going to get everything to this carburetor. And I, I can still use the top. You see the top, this top right here, it's uh you can take it off. And then you can put it on either side. And you can accelerate from either side. And this one, you cannot do it on the original one. It only comes one way. That's it. It only comes one way. So I got the other one right here. And then if you look at them, one goes to one side and then the other one goes the other way. That's why, because you could set this in either way, either position to get your, your lines to the back or to the front uh, on the, uh, on your, uh, on your uh, doghouse and see if it goes with back or front, whichever you want to do. So, uh, and this one's, you just got to take this one out and switch the, uh, the fitting over here. So, uh, anyways, well, let's get to it. All right, folks. So the biggest thing that I really, really wanted to take out of this carburetor and put on this carburetor was the shaft because this one came with no shaft. So this is what the shaft looks like originally. This right here, you see, it's got two, two butterflies or throttle plates, however you want to call them. And uh, this is the original from the other carburetor. So I want it, and, and that's because I, I only saw it in one place on uh, eBay, I think it was, and they were asking like $60 for just the shaft, the shaft and the two little linkages here. Yeah, they were asking for this alone, $60. And they were asking for the uh, 
accelerator pump here. It was like $45 for the original one that is, has a little wheel right here. Because this is the old carburetor. Uh, so that alone, those two parts alone, there were a hundred dollars. So, so I decided just to go with the uh, with the new carburetor. I had to buy the the kit anyways, and everything comes with it. So it's a win win. All right. So first thing, you gotta take the. Uh, this is the main jets, main gas, main gas, and main uh, air jets, and it's got. This is called emulsificators. This is what mixes that together. And this is just an upgrade where the the uh, you take the air from the top instead of taking it down low like the original ones. The original ones are short. You see how short they are? So, but this is what it comes and that's what I'm gonna use because they work better with the, uh, that's an upgrade. All right, so first thing you gotta take those off and take take the top plate off. I already disassembled it, so it's not it's not going to be hard to, to take all this stuff off. And I really don't want to bore you to death. I just want to ensure that you know what you're doing when uh, you're dealing with these carburetors. And these carburetors, they're all there's five bolts or five screws, and they'll come out. And then you got the float right there. So we're gonna use that later on. So now we're gonna get to the inners. And uh, the inners, uh, I am not gonna take the uh, the mixers out, nor the uh, the uh, vent uh, Venturi's. I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna use the original ones. So, but I'm gonna take the injectors out. That's the next, next step. I don't know if you, if you saw last time, I got, these are the injectors and they're 55. And they're made out of magnesium. And then when I put it in the acid, they started eating. Uh, but the new one, I knew the new one would come with it. So it's fine. You see they're 50s. So we got those brand new, but this has a, let me get, So this one has one, two, right here. So you gotta be careful because this has a little washer, aluminum washer in here. The ones that come with the original ones are brass wash washers. This all brass washers, and this ones are aluminum washers. So, but we're gonna use the aluminum ones. So let's go. There's a washer on the top, washer on the bottom, sandwich the injector. And then you can call it injector, but it's a squirter. A squirter. Uh, it's just that. What it does is it squirts gasoline when you when you hit the the throttle. When you hit the throttle, the pump will pump gasoline through the here and here, and it comes out of there. And that's what gives you the the first hit. Uh, uh, I got to do something real quick. I gotta. I purchase some. Uh, it's clean, but I always like to use a little bit of car cleaner just to get whatever's left in the uh, holes, get it out. If there's any gunk that I couldn't get to or the acid couldn't get to, it could. Oh, by the way, watch out because you know what happens. This will kick back. So, perfect. There you go. Kick back. There you go. Now, remember, the car cleaner has a formula that, that is made for gasoline, to uh, break down gasoline. So, and and it's good because remember we ran we ran the uh, we ran the uh, the blaster the sand blaster and 
could be there there could be a uh, sand in this thing so still so and what i'm seeing i can see that there's a little bit of sand and but no big deal because we're going to we will going to clean it no big deal Well, the most important thing is the idle jets because the idle they're the tiniest holes so this is the idle jet right here and then, well, it goes right here. And it takes fuel, you can see right here through here. See it? There's a passage. So the fuel will come from inside, from in here. And it goes to the jet, to the idle jet. And um, this is what the idle jet looks like. And it's got the tiniest hole. And then this goes right there. And... It also goes down to the bottom. That's where you control your airspeed, the amount of air you have, and then that's how you control it. So, so the, the holes are very, very tiny. So it needs to be really clean. All right, give me a second. I gotta blow this with air. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, so it's already all cleaned up. The carburetor cleaner, we got it all clean, and and uh did a little bit of air and blow and blew all the holes our orifices and everything and there's seems like there's no sand there's nothing in it so we're gonna start getting this bad boy all together so the first thing i want to do is uh i'm gonna take the jets uh let's go ahead and uh do this jets right here where the jets at right there so we're gonna do my uh my nozzles here hey make sure when you get to this uh brass uh use the right size uh screwdriver because if not you're gonna chip them so it's always good to use the the, the correct uh, the correct screwdriver in order for the brass not to chip and most likely it's going to be a big screwdriver like this. Uh, remember when you take this one, take that uh, little washer out of there. Washer, washer, right there. Put the washer in. Put the uh, nozzles in. And all of this is just like uh, like fittings. You know, you put you put this stuff by hand. You 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 thread them by hand first, and then after you thread them by hand, then you can go ahead and uh, get them tighten up and then now we're going to move to the main to the jet down here this is going to be the one from the bottom this is a check valve i don't know if you can hear it it's a check valve so it's got a little bulb right here so that means when the gas goes to your your pump accelerator pump here and uh it goes through there the gas will go in there but when you pump it, it doesn't go back to the bulb. You understand? If if there was an, a a check bulb here, it'll come. The pressure will come here, and it will not squirt. So very important. So the old one is around here somewhere. You can barely hear it. So if you got gunk there, it's not going to inject. So so you got to get that bad boy nice and clean and free. But since we got a new one, oh, and by the way, it's a pain in the butt to get this back down here. And we got it. All right. And this stuff doesn't need to be really tight. So it goes down at the bottom there. Let me see. Right in there. Now, so we're going to move to, we're going to move to the, uh, to the mixers here. These mixers are really clean and ready to go. 
and you cannot miss it. There's a slot here, a square slot in a circle. So it goes just like that. And you're just gonna push them down. And I'll put a little bit of uh, oil or lubricant. And this is uh, some lubricant. So it goes a little easier right here. There you go. And when you tap something, you just tap it with a rubber mallet. Probably grew. Did it grow? If you see this one, it goes all the way flush. Just a little bit. I just want to ensure that it's all the way down, and it is all the way down, and then you know, it gave me a little hard time, but it is all the way down, so nice. So, one, let me do the second. We're gonna do is the uh, idle jets. The idle jets are this one's right here. This idle jet, you're supposed to put it in with a, it goes with a, an O-ring, okay? So that's the O-ring, it goes right in there. You see it? Oh, right in there. And then just puts a little bit of, you know, some type of lubricant grease or something. I got a little bit of grease here. Just a little bit. And you just don't want that stuff to to break. Because uh yeah, this is what it is, you know, you don't want the stuff to break. Okay, and a little bit of uh, lubricant there. And that's gonna go all the way in with an O-ring. Bam, done. Idle jets. That's the two top ones there. Now we're gonna take all the stuff right here. So we got the uh, this right here. Oh wow! I really don't know what this ones are for. They're all the way in, so I don't think there's anything. But I just gotta do a little bit of reading because it has so many, and it looks like air. So you see, it looks like air passages. So actually it is air. So it comes from here and goes on the other side of the plate, throttle plate. So that's air. So this is gas and this is air. So you have two for one for each side. And then on this one, it's got a little one. It's like a little uh, brass little uh, nipple there. That one is for you if you want to put one of those uh, vacuum lines you can put the vacuum line right there so not gonna bore you let me go ahead and, and get this uh taken out and put it in the uh or the cup all right so i got all all the stuff put in so i got the uh the air and the gasoline so this is a mixer screw anyways and then this is the air probably i i'm not i never work with this carburetor so we'll figure out later on uh but that's that's that so now we're going to move to them to the shaft so i'm gonna show you how to take that shaft out it's already been taken out so but i'm gonna show you there is a trick to this to the madness okay because this uh screws right here they're locked tight really with uh you see it blue loctite so to take this uh this screws this screws go 
this way like that and they're like like tight right so you need to use an impact an impact uh, uh driver because they're really tight so if you if you want to take them out just get a uh an impact driver and do the flat tip because the cross tip or the phillips can strip so and then just put it firmly on it and and hit it twice and it's going to spin out so very important don't do it by hand because even if you got a really good uh, screwdriver it's not going to work because they're really really tight okay all right so before you do that well act after you take the the four the four little uh, throttle plate screws right you take them out then you got to take the injector out so so this is the this is the throttle pump you got to take that stuff out so that is four screws on the top that's self-explanatory and then this uh this carburetor has a a pin a through pin that you take off so i'll show you what i'm talking about so there's a there's a, uh, a pin right there, you see it? So you gotta take that pin out. There you go. Take it out, that's the pin. Take it out and then just slide the lever out. Bam, and it's free. So remember there is a uh, uh, spring in the back of this. So watch out when you're taking it off because the spring is gonna jump. So. All right, so there you go. Just take the whole thing off, and there's the spring. It goes underneath it. And we're going to mount that later on. I'm not going to do it now. So there you go. It's all cleared out. There's nothing there. Hmm. All right. So now, so now, we're gonna take one of the two sides. You got two sides. So I decided to take this, my left side. So you take the nut and then there's a lock washer here. You take those two and just put it in order. And then you take, it's hummingbirds. The hummingbirds will come in and, and they get trapped in the, in the shop. So you take the, uh, the, the throttle linkage here. And then you see there it is a, it's like a bushing, a washer bushing that, that is uh, covering the, uh, the bearing. You take that off. And then remember this is taken off already. So before you slide that shaft out, you have to take this pin out from here. This pin, it holds that lever together. So take the pin out. I already took taking it out. So what I used was a little, uh, this little drill bit right here, and it came out really easy. So and now it's loose. So after you do that, then you can take your throttle plates out. You see this slide out. I got them all out. And after you take this, then you can slide the uh, the whole entire shaft. You can slide it out. See it. It just came out. That's the shaft. And take that little piece from the center and the bearing. That's the shaft bearing. It goes right here. Just like that. So, all right. So I was looking into an eBay, on eBay's to buy the plates. This right here was 40 bucks, just the plates. And then the bearings, for 20, 20, 24 dollars for the bearings. For two bearings, not four, two bearings. It, it uses only two, but but it, it's a little expensive. So when you look on this side, it has two bushings. You see two brass bushings. One, then it has the bearing and has another brass bushing. I guess it's because there's some some uh 
It's a little hole right here. Uh, I guess that's uh, to cover that hole. I don't know. So, so we took this shaft this way. And by the way, before I dis dismantled this, I measured my shaft. <laughs> I measured this shaft. And it was eight millimeter. See it? It was eight millimeter. And then I, I cross reference and cross check it with the other shaft. And then I figure out that it was the same shaft. So that's when I took it apart. So I didn't, I didn't take it apart before I did that because, you know, warranty stuff. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the carburetor. We're going to put it in the same position and we're going to slide the shaft. We're going to put a little bit of a little bit of oil or grease. Remember, this is an old carburetor, so a little bit of grease is, is going to go a long ways. And we're going to slide this in there. And there is a slot. There is a slot for the, uh, for the spring to go in. Okay. And then this goes on this side, right there. And then this, you see it? The, the spring slides right in that little hole. And then you gotta tap it in because of the bearing. Uh, you gotta tap it, tap the, the shaft in a little bit. There you go. And now, let's check the function. It's perfect. So, so now we got a shaft in the carburetor. Oh, I forgot of something. I gotta put that little cam. You see what I'm saying? You forget stuff. You sometimes, Sometimes you're in the moment because you cannot put that with with uh, without this thing right here. So, and this goes just like this, and it goes that way. Okay, so we gotta just hit it back out. It's very very fairly fairly simple, and we're gonna put this shaft back in there with the cam that we forgot to, or well, I forgot to put in. And then we're gonna just, oops. Just bang it back in. So that is the cam is in there, you see it? So let's, let's double check, ensure that it's the right way. I think I put it the wrong way. Oh, this way. Yep, it's the right way. So that's how it goes. So now it's just reverse. So we're going to put the bearing back on there on this other side. And we're just going to tap it. It goes really easy. And that's why I say that these carburetors are really nice because you got those bearings. And it's so smooth. Very, very smooth. And then after that, we're going to put the little bushing right there. Then after the bushing, we put the uh, the stop. You stop the acceleration. Yep, that's the acceleration stop. And then we're gonna put the uh, little stopper. Uh, and this one goes right here. So and now we're just gonna put the. Uh, we're not gonna tighten this down after we do the. Uh, uh, after we do the. Throttle plates. All right, so there it is. I'm just gonna, and it's functioning pretty nice. All right, you see how it's easy? These carburetors are very simple. Very, very simple. So, so the throttle plates, I took them out, they have they're one way only. So I put an X on the top side before I took them out. So I remember how they go. So, so they're marked. So ensure that you mark them before you take them out. So you know um, how they went. Because if not, then you got to go and do some research. And then after you put them on, you got to get some Loctite to do the two screws. So All right, folks. Just... 
So remember, 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 do not make sure you mark, make sure you mark your, your throttle plates and this should go in easy. Also, this should close easy. If you have any issues for the, uh, them closing, that means that means they're not set right or they're not the right way. So make sure you mark them and you remember the marks and uh, don't force them because they should close uh, with, with without pressure or nothing. They should close good. Put a little bit of th uh, thread locker after you figure out how they exactly go. You put a little bit of thread locker and you and you tighten down tight and they should not come they should not come out and make sure you use a the uh, flat tip screwdriver don't use don't use a Phillips so now after you have it where they they're working smoothly you see how smooth this is working then you can go ahead and, and get this uh, nut tightened down and and the bearing cinched down and I use red uh, thread locker so I don't use nothing but red I don't like blue I like red all right so so now we're gonna put the uh, injector and the accelerator pump it's this one right here. And uh, we're gonna put this, uh, so let me, so first of all, we gotta put that little pin. You see that pin? We gotta put it through here. And this, uh, and it should go right there and just bang it in a little bit. Perfect. You just drive it in. That's all you gotta do, just drive it in. See it? So now the cam is, is working properly. So now, we're gonna put the injector. Remember the injector has a spring that goes in the back. So you put the spring first, and then you put the, uh, it's not the injector, I'm sorry. Uh, it's the accelerator pump or the injector pump. And make sure you put this cam in there uh, before there you go and check the function before you uh put it completely together check always check function all right i really don't want to drag this uh this uh video but I got to get it right so you understand it. It's very simple and uh, step by step. And this is just give it a little notch, a touch. Don't don't tighten it too too hard because it's all brand new. So just, just a little bit to get a cinch down. And that's it. And don't forget to put that little that little clip that holds the clip that holds the uh, the the little lever here, the linkage. The linkage. Uh, one of there you go. It goes right there. So you see now? Now it's injecting right there. It's functioning like it's supposed to. Look at that. It looks like a brand new carburetor. Now, so we have now we're gonna go to the top. To the very top. But this carburetor didn't bring like the other one has some has some washers on the top to some brass washers on the very very top to seal up this side right here so i'm not going to put it like that because the new one doesn't break so i'm just going to do how it comes it comes with a really nice uh, gasket really thick gasket so and this is the very top of that carburetor but since I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use this because I want to I want to keep the vintage look look on it. You see this the the vintage one. So I'm gonna put this one back on there. And uh, 
But first of all, yep. So I'm gonna put that one. So now I gotta put the uh, the float. So this float, I gotta take it out of here. Just hit it right quick. And we're gonna take it out. The float is very simple. And I'm not gonna touch it. It's gonna stay just like it came from the factory. So that's the needle right there. And it's already set, so I'm not gonna touch it. And we're gonna take the uh, the seat. This is the seat. We're gonna take that one and put it on here. I don't think it's a 10 millimeter. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we're gonna take that bad boy. See it out of there. Right there. It's got it's got a washer. So aluminum washer. So now we're gonna rebuild the top end of this. There you go. It goes right there. Let me double check that other carburetor. I want to ensure that these two carburetors are the same on the top. So, there you go. Nice. All right. <clears throat> Look at this. They got to be opposite. So I need these two are the same. All right. So. So let's get this uh, seat in there. We're gonna cinch it down. There you go. And we're gonna use the, uh, that float with the new hardware. Because like I said before, this is all, this, this is all compatible right there. You see, oh, I forgot about something. Okay, so before you put the, 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 the float, before you foot put the float, you have to put the gasket in. Make sure the gasket goes and, and, and it works fine. So the gasket goes before the float. You put the float in and then you put a little, little shaft in there. Oh, come on. There you go. Mm, it's bumbling a little bit. All right, let's see it. That's how it goes. You can check the function by blowing. Whoops. So there's... We gotta cap it here, I guess. All it's doing is, is shutting the gas. It, uh, when the gas comes in, it shuts the gas. And it'll f overfill the, the bulb. Okay, another thing we're going to put on here is going to be uh, this right here, but we're going to use we're going to use the original one. We're keeping keeping with that theme. So this gasket is bad, so we're going to take this gas gasket out. Remember, we're, doing, we're keeping the, that that theme, that uh, original look, but everything is going to be brand new. Everything's brand new. You see, we got a we got a filter, brand new filter, and everything is compatible. So that goes right in there, right in there, and we're gonna tighten it down right there. And it's a 19 millimeter, and we're gonna cinch it down. There you go. That's it. See it? Good. Now we're gonna put this bad boy right in there. Should go. We got everything we need. That, you see? And now we're gonna put this little these four bolts. Uh -huh. One, two, it's five. I'm sorry. It's five bolts. And we're gonna. Okay, that's indeed. So. We use all the new hardware. And this sounds really nice. Got a little air leak. That's my uh, my gun. And we're gonna use a big screwdriver 
to just cinch this down because we don't want to. We're going to go in a cross pattern here. Just to cinch it down. Kind of equally. There you go. So that's almost the carburetor completely. So now we're going to tighten up this one. Right here. I think it's 11. Yes, it is. It drives the, the bearing down. There you go. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm going to tighten up this side over here. Always check for function before, and then you can go ahead and and fold the tabs so they don't get loose on you. So we're gonna fold the tabs. Folded the tabs and check function. It's working fine. So now we're going to get this uh, the uh, idle screw and let's go. It goes on this side, on the left side. There you go. And it works perfect. So now we're gonna take the uh, the choke. We're gonna take the choke, and we're gonna put that bad boy on there. Uh, the choke plate, because this one, th this uh, will not have choke. Now you can put chokes on it, but I think for if this went to my '57, this is a choke plate. You see. Alright, and it goes right here. Just capping the the, the side. There you go. And I still need to take this right here. This is the uh the hold downs for the uh the venturis. You gotta take those out. Uh, 10 millimeter and all it does is uh, they uh, hold down the uh, the Venturis so they don't move up and down so if you want to take the Venturis out they just this is all you got to do just take those and take the uh, the mixtures out and then you can take the Venturis out all right Tighten down. There you go. There you go. Now, check function. Everything is working fine. And this also comes with the uh, the velocity stack. comes with two new ones and this just goes right there so we got to put the uh, uh we got to put this two bad boys right here
All right. And we want to put this bad boy here. It comes with everything, all the hardware, everything that you need. So, and then you can do whatever you want to do. You can put whatever you want. You know, you can put the, the big stacks. Uh, you can do whatever. But this one's, I got to put the original stacks on there. Why? Because I want to put the new ones for this one right here. Or, or, and then get the original. So, anyways. So, what else? What else we got? Where are they? It's fumbling here. I had the, uh, the tops for those. Where are they? I had the little tops. They were sitting here somewhere. They also come with uh, a left and right. Left and right. And they come with the gasket for, for the bottom the bottom side so it comes with everything so for a hundred dollars you can't you can't beat that you cannot beat that um so that's uh that's about it i think i think that that's it it's uh it's done it's rebuilt so this is how it looks like and all I got to do is just put a little bit of gas in it and run it and see if it injects, if it works. But it looks like it's going to do everything it needs, to, it needs to. And that is a original Italian, Italian 44 Weber. So 44. So Weber. All rebuilt. So I just put the stacks on there so it looks good. This is how it's gonna look. You can do you can do a center mount, this center mount, or you can do a uh, you can do a dual. So, uh, and I, t I I think it only took you know I think this video is about thirty minutes long or so. So thirty minutes probably or less the cleaning. So you got to clean it up really good, and it took about thirty minutes to get it together, all together. You know, and this is fully rebuilt. It's got everything is brand new. Shaft is new, bearings are new, all the needles, seats, uh, it, the the injector pump, uh, all the uh, all the uh, jets are new. Everything is new. So you got a brand new carburetor right here. So this carburetor is going to be for sale, and we're going to sell it here in a couple days, probably today or tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna I got to test it first. I gotta test this bad boy first. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the thing and I'm gonna put this carburetor in the thing and in the thing and I'll run it and see how it works. Because I don't have uh I don't have a manifold for, for this carburetor. So anyways, uh just stay tuned. I'ma get it, I'm gonna get it tested. All right, thank you.